I'm Dr. Dan Maddock, and today we're going to talk about cranial pulsations. There's two basic pulsations to the cranium. The first is the primary respiratory mechanism, and the second is the cranial rhythmic impulse. The primary respiratory mechanism has been described as a cross-section of pulses that take place within the body, including respiratory muscle contraction and cardiac movement and the movement of the lymphatic system. The best way to feel the pulses is at the posterior aspect of the cranium. Cranial rhythmic impulse is the continuous motion of the brain, the churning motion of the glial substance and the astrocytes. Now, as we're looking at the skull here, you can see the occipitomastoid suture coming up to the lambdoid, the lambdoid suture, the occipitomastoid suture, bilaterally the occipitomastoid suture, and coming up between the occipit and the parietals up, up to the lambda, and then the posterior aspect of the cranium and the suboccipital. This is the nuchal line and the external occipital protuberance. Those can be palpated along the posterior aspect of the cranium in this position and our finger contacts are going to look like this. We're going to start out at the base of the skull. We're gonna hold here. The patient will be in the supine posture when we're doing this, but I'm gonna show it to you this way, and then we'll turn him over and do it the other way. Right here, we have the suboccipital area and the posterior aspect of the C1 occipital junction, and we're just gonna hold that, and then we're gonna move up on the occiput to the just below the super, superior nuchal line and then we're going to move up a little higher and a little higher and we're going to come right up to we're right at the lambda then we're going to come on the opposite side and we're going to contact the occipital mastoid suture and just hold that gently and we're feeling for the pulse we move up a little higher the pulse takes place at six to ten times per minute and we're going to come up and trace up the uh, trace up the uh, suture on the parietal bones all the way up to the lambda, and then we're going to contact just below the parietal horns and moving up into the parietal horns, and then we're going to come right just above the uh, ox the mastoid parietal suture, and we're just going to lift up and we're going to feel for the pulse. So if you'll turn over for me. start out down low and we're going to have the patient we're just going to hold the contact and feel for the pulse this is difficult for some practitioners especially the new practitioners when they're learning this position and they're learning to feel the pulse what I do is I have the patient take a deep breath Hold the breath and you'll feel the skull open gently against your hands. Hold that breath and feel and feel until the skull starts to move away from your hands. And tell the patient to breathe all the way out. And as he breathes out, I'm going to have him hold the breath out and I'm going to wait for the skull to start to push outward against my hands. And you might feel it one side or the other. Take a deep breath in, there he goes, hold it, hold it, deep breath, bring your toes up towards your nose, hold it. And breathe out. Now I'm going to move my fingers up the occiput just a little bit more. Take a deep breath in, hold it, toes up towards your nose, feel for the pulse. If it feels stronger one side or the other, just put a little extra pressure in on one side until you feel it equalize and then breathe out. Watch down the bridge of the nose and just, it's, it's a gentle balancing act to just kind of balance the skull. Take a deep breath in and you'll feel the skull start to change balance and you just vary your pressure until you equalize the motion of the skull when you feel it start to go back into what we call extension, breathe out. Extension is exhalation, flexion of the cranium is inhalation, and that movement takes place at the floor of the skull at the sphenobasilar mechanism. 
The sphenobasilar mechanism is formed in bone and remains functional as bone throughout life. The membrane bone functions as membrane throughout life. Take a deep breath in, hold it, and so we feel the membranous bone, and you'll feel the pulsation come in. Hold the breath. And breathe out. And feel it go into toes down. Point your toes down, that's it, and relax. And hold. Now I'm moving up towards the lambda. <clears throat> I'm still on the occiput. And breathe in. Toes up towards your nose. And he's a little off balance right there. And breathe out. Oh, toes down. Now I'm gonna move down to the mastoid process, just lateral to the occipital mastoid suture. I'm gonna hold the mastoid and take a deep breath in and feel the expansion. And it goes open, 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 and then it starts to close in. Breathe out, hold it out. Gently holding that mastoid process. And breathe in. Hold it. And breathe out. Now I'm moving up a little bit higher onto the, I'm on the parietal bone just above the occipital, or the parietal occipital suture or the parietal mastoid suture, and I'm lifting up gently, and take a deep breath in, and hold. And breathe out, and relax, hold it out. And you just gently compress until it starts to move in, and the pressure is very light, just a couple ounces of pressure, just enough to let his head rest in my hands. Breathe in, hold it, toes up towards your nose, and breathe out. And this is great for your anxiety patients, your patients that are under a lot of stress, certainly great for headaches and hypertension patients. Breathe in, hold it, now I'm on the parietal bone, just lateral to the lambdoid suture on both sides. And again, breathe in and out, feeling for the pulse wave, hold it out, wait for it to come back in, inhale and exhale. Come on over here, Brenda, behind, come from over my shoulder and breathe in, hold it, and breathe out. Now I'm gonna move my hands up just lateral, my, my little finger, my fifth digit is just at the, on the parietal bone, right at the lambdoid, or the lambda, right at the junction of the uh, occiput, superior portion of the occiput and the parietals, deep breath in. Hold it. And breathe out. And I'm just gonna lift up gently here and cup the whole occiput and the parietal bones and breathe in and hold it. And breathe out. And breathe in. And just gently balance the skull in your hands. Hold it, wait for the pulse to go out. Breathe out. And relax. Now I'm gonna come up gently right here 
on the parietal bones just above the temporal bone and I'm just holding take a deep breath in hold it and breathe out and then move to just above the sphenoid on the parietal bone still breathe in hold it and breathe out now you can come right here on the sphenoid and just gently contact the whole right right across the coronal suture and breathe in and out and you can gently just pressure both sides he feels a little stronger on the left so I'm going to put pressure in on the left deep breath in and that will direct the cerebral spinal fluid to the right sphenoid area and breathe out and then you can feel the frontal bones move as they move inhale exhale breathe in hold it and breathe out and then you can feel the maxillary and the malar bone or the maxillary and the zygoma zygomatic bones breathe in and you can feel the whole anterior cranium inhale and breathe out and exhale wait for it and breathe in toes up towards your nose and breathe out and relax